Do performers um, report a bump in their in their own sales after being on? The Joko bump, yes, the, the Joko bump. Uh, I, I couldn't speak to actual numbers, but I can say for a fact, various performers, Paul F. Tompkins for one mentioned it uh, specifically, how he will come back to certain cities uh, having performed on the cruise, and there will be gatherings of five or ten or twenty or even thirty or more uh, sea monkeys all congregating to come see their show, and uh, they, they certainly do not that. I mean, Storm and I can speak to experience. We're uh, based more or less out of the Washington, D.C. area, which has one of the larger uh, sea monkey contingents. So there's always... Yes. Oh, yeah, we see you. I see you, Awa. Um, yeah, and it's, it's great. It's, it's sort of, you know, it's a little bit like a homecoming. Uh, and it's great to see you all getting together and enjoying each other's company uh, on land. Um, I know Jim, Jim Boja in particular has expressed to me uh, how delighted he is that the love of the sea monkeys follows him off of the ship onto the land and into the rest of his life. So, uh, you know, I think, it, I mean, it varies for every performer, I'm sure, but, but yeah, frequently, frequently people will uh, come to perform not knowing much about this group or, or this event and, and <clears throat> discover that they have, suddenly have hundreds of new fans, which is always great. I see. can say that the three of us, since the first cruise we ran, have seen a significant uptick in the number of cruises that we run. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I, I have seen an uptick in the number of cruises. I, 